my buddy Jan gets non-fat dried milk in her commodities every month. And she says, I don't drink this. Do you want it? And I went, well, yeah, because it's free, right? I mean, long-term storage. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sutton's Days. If you're new here, my name is Lisa, and we are all about pantry preparedness. And today we are... We are going to be vacuum sealing this milk in Mylar using the chamber vac. Do you know, I'm like, do the happy dance, okay? Because this is epic to me. This is absolutely amazing. My biggest beef is that in my utopia, in my perfect little world, any vacuum sealer that you have should work on Mylar. And it doesn't. If you have a food saver, if you have any other kind, it doesn't work on Mylar, okay? And so the only other option is to go through, get an impulse sealer, get oxygen absorbers, get your Mylar bags, put it in there, do that. Okay, great. It's kind of a hassle. It's a lot of steps and it's a little extra cash, right? But we are going to repackage this. It has Best Buy dates. Non-fat, now specifically non-fat, okay? Non-fat dried powdered milk has a best buy date on it. Yes, it does. And the USDA has stated that it's typically good for two to 10 years after the best buy date. That window in there is 100% because they don't know what conditions you're storing it in, right? Now, the bags that this comes in has air in it. There's air in there. It's not a lot, but it's air. I want to switch this over to Mylar bags to get my 10 years because even though I don't drink it, somebody might. Let's do this. It's a powder. Do you know how when you have to do powders with your food saver or other, you know, countertop vacuum sealer, you have to take the powder, you have to put it into a paper bag. Then you have to take that bag and put it into whatever container that you are vacuum sealing it in so that it doesn't suck up the powder into the machine and totally wreck your machine. Been there? done that. This, you don't have to do that. This is going to be so much fun. It is the little things, my friends, right? So over the months, Jan has given me her powdered milk. I am going to take this non-fat powdered milk and transfer it into a Mylar bag. And then we're going to put it in the chamber vac. So there's probably 20 different ways to do this so that you don't make a mess. And I just managed to come up with 21. So it's in the Mylar bag, okay? And now we're going to come over to the machine. <laughs> it's the little things I tell you. Okay. And we're gonna place it down in there. We're gonna make sure that it's flat. Whoop, 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 stop. Okay, I didn't want it to do that yet. Okay, the caveat to this is I have this on auto because I don't know but I put it on medium bag because that's a medium bag and then I came over to seal now the default on this is that it's at four seconds I increased it to eight seconds for the mylar because that gives you the stronger uh, seal okay so we're gonna come back up let's do this <laughs> That will never get old. Okay, so now we're gonna open this up and that is completely airtight and there's the seal and it goes all the way across. So excited. So what you have to make sure to do is to increase the time on that seal and you can do Mylar in your chamber vac. This right here is a game changer because I hate having 14 tools to do one job. And sometimes that's just what we have to, that's just what we have to put up with, right? But with this, I can eliminate the food saver, which I did. I can eliminate the, the impulse sealer, that's next. I mean, that's just fantastic. And I just have this one thing. And it doesn't suck the powder up. There's not all these hoops that you have to go through in order to vacuum seal your powders. It's fantastic. One of, I think, my favorite parts about this so far 
has been that it's it's a hands-off process. You put it in there, you close it, it does its due. You don't have to hold it down, you don't have to babysit it. And so I'm able to package things up. Like I packaged up three bags in the time it took for one to seal. Whereas before I would have been to totally hands-on with this and then moved on to another bag. And then, you know, so it really does cut the work time in half. The thing with Mylar is that it is a thicker material than the plastic bags that are typical for vacuum sealing. See that great seal right there? That's awesome. Very excited. Um, but you can also get Mylar in different mills. And so you want to pay attention to the mills that you get and adjust accordingly because let's see how high this goes up. It goes as high as nine. So with a nine, you're getting the top seal. And I mean, I only had it at eight and I think these are pretty thick mill of Mylar. Um, why is this such a big deal to me? Oh yeah, see that's a nice, it's just, it looks as good as the other one. Yes, it does. So that's a nine. It's still warm. <laughs> um, why is this such a big deal to me? Because I like buying in bulk. Whenever I can, I like buying in bulk. I would rather buy 10 pounds of something today at the prices today than to peter it out over the course of the next 10 years and have that price double. I It's like it's like eating for free, you know, almost kind of, sort of, not really. So if you can get a good deal on things, and, and my sticking point has always been the powdered stuff, because if I buy spices, I buy them in bulk. And with this kind of ability, I can now do that very comfortably and have, spice, have my spices last me significantly longer. Because the biggest issue with spices is that if they're not vacuum sealed like this and put up properly, they lose their efficacy. They lose their pungent flavor, okay? And if you've ever had stale oregano, ooh, you know what I mean. Doing something like this means that I can, even if it's what I grow myself, I can grow it, I can dry it, I can vacuum seal it in mylar and put it up and know that it's good for years to come. In this case, this is milk. I'm going to get my Sharpie because, you know, no good preppers without a Sharpie. And I'm going to mark on their milk and I'm going to mark on their a date that I should use it by. And that is how I'm going to keep track. And then it will be in its own bucket and we will have milk. This is a game changer. I am so excited about this that nothing powdered is a effectively safe for me, I am going to be vacuum sealing all the things. So this is this is just so exciting. So many more Mylar bags coming into my future. Um, if you're interested, of course, there is a link down below. Yes, it is an affiliate link uh, because this, this is awesome and the price is great. I have the medium one. There is a smaller one that's less expensive. There is another one that is slightly more expensive. But so far, I have not been disappointed in this machine. Seriously life-changing. I could jump up and down at this. The fact that it does Mylar bags opens up this whole new window for me that doesn't involve three other pieces of equipment, oxygen absorbers, and a hassle with putting everything in a paper bag first. This is fantastic. I am so excited about this machine. I am so excited. I am so excited about this machine. Um, I'm going to be just vacuum sealing. Every Nothing is safe. Nothing is safe. If you're interested in what I did the first time I used my vacuum sealer, check out this video right here. There's a link down below. Check that out. Until next time, everybody, be safe.